Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another OSS Duel Extravaganza. Right now we have, we have June versus I is the Man. I is the Man is our guy on the bottom, and his opponent is on the top. His opponent started with a card face down, and actually two cards face down, Monster and a Trap, which was revealed to be Cobra Jar, and his special ability, Cobra Jar, was activated. Along with Alien Brain. Yes, I is the man. Rip this shit again. And I guess it's convenient since, uh. Well. It's just convenient. I, I just have to say that. He puts two cards face down and I'll end his turn. I is the man will come forth. And now, I as the man will wait. It's only the fourth turn, and he is under 650 life points. That's not a good start. We have Supply Squad, we have a card face down. And we, we're just trying to figure out what is happening next. I as the man trying to shake it up a little bit. Thunder King Raho in attack mode. He must be planning something. What could he be thinking? Yep, and it looks like Zajun will well, he will take game one. Which actually, now that I as the man thought about it, he we have seen this reptile deck a lot. And not gonna lie, it's it's a good deck and there's good there's good generic support. But eventually, we'll, we're just gonna make countermeasures for the deck and we'll just we'll just get rid of it all. I recently just dueled just June just not too long ago, and that's that's exactly what I did. But that's that's the issue about using one deck too many times. But of course, even even having a rotating deck of four cards, uh, rotating decks of four can also be bad. So there's plenty of stuff to go around. Eyes Man had a complete pass on his turn, except of course for that monster face down and a, and a spell and trap face down. It's Jin's turn. This is game number two. Gax's Icon's thrown down. He'll get rid of a defense draw. A second alien shock trooper comes out. He's going to attack. Panaki the Waxing Moon was that card face down. And during the end phase, its ability will activate. If, there, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add one black wing monster from your deck to your hand. Except Plinka the Waxing Moon. And he's going to bring out Chris the Crack of Dawn. Along with the special summon of Gale the Birdwind, Whirlwind. And we have Offering of the Snake Deity just ready. And only Chris the Crack of Dawn is remaining cause, because its effect. It cannot be destroyed by spell and ho ho. The second Gale the Whirlwind. Just right there. He was just ready for that. One step ahead as a June. Maybe as Eyes the Man can turn this duel around. Gale the Whirlwind will attack the weakened Shock Trooper, and Chris will bring down 1900, bring Zajun down to 5750. They're both about even. Their field, their field and hand power is about the same. And really, anything can happen. We have a card face, a monster face down, and a card face down. This is, again, this is still anyone's game. Because that face down is either Alien Brain, which takes control of your monster, like we saw last duel, or Offering of the Snake Deity. And we have the Monarch Stormforth. Taking Cobra Jar, and here is that weakness we were talking about. Jinzo. Chris the Crack of Dawn. And Jinzo, he's down at 150. He, it is not over yet, but it is pretty close. Dark Hole, 
will take out everyone except Chris the Crackadon. The card face down. Eyes the Man is in a very good spot. Dark Hole. He'll protect his Crackadon one more time. Guy the Fierce Knight. Attack mode. And he'll direct attack. And Storming Mirror Force. But now Zadrun is completely out of cards. Will he be able to turn it around? It looks like he will. For now. Evil Dragon Anita. Even if he's going to destroy himself with his own effect, it's better that Eyes of the Man goes down with 3700 than 6400. Charging Gaia again, the direct attack, and the second game goes to Eyes of the Man. Both now, I think, have good countermeasures to his to each other's deck right now. But now we're going to go into the final match. And just as the deck heads up, Zijun's using Reptiles, and I as the Man is using a combination of a lot of a lot of different cards. We haven't seen all of Zijun's deck, or neither I as the Man, because the duels ended very quickly. I as the Man, card face down, spell face down, which is revealed to be Royal Decree. Uh, that was a good side card. Zijun ends with two spell and traps face down, and a monster face down. He's definitely expecting the worst. But I guess that's the key here. If he can get rid of his reptiles by card effect, like Monarch Stormforth, he's gonna tribute that. He's gonna tribute his monster. He's gonna summon out. All right, ambitious Gopher. He's gonna direct attack. Twenty-four hundred. It's taken away. Now at this point, if he is offering up a snake deity, he should just activate it as soon as he can. Because at this point, he just doesn't have anything right now. He has two cards face down, which most likely rely on a monster. Which, in terms of dead draws, that can kill you in the end. I as the man is 8,000, Zajun has 5,600. Zajun is thinking. Eyes the Man is a Knight Plus, while Zajun is an Obelisk. He recently took his test, and it was very close to becoming one of the prestigious Knights. We have a Monster Face Down. Card Face Down, go for Activate's Ability. And the ability is negated. Gopher has the ability to target up the two monsters your opponent controls, to destroy them, unless your opponent reveals one monster in their hand. And Gopher will put his monster in defense mode. A very strange move, but most likely it's a misclick. And that might cost him later on. As his embodiment of Ampuffy his, his trap monster is in defense mode. And Dark Hole is going to be activated. He's going to just, just destroy everybody. And that of the face down is Charge Hurdle. But will Eyes the Man continue with, with his turn? And he will. He'll, he'll summon Guild, Guild the Whirlwind. He'll direct attack. 1300 is down. Zajun is down to 1300. He. Eyes the Man does not want to leave. Then Black of the Waking Moon. Ability activates. It's going to bring out another Whirlwind. Jar of Greed was activated. That was the face down. Along with Supply Squad. Hopefully this might be a turn, a turn point. Two Supply Squads. And he still has one monster in his hand. Alien Shock Trooper. And he's going to go in for the attack. Will Eyes the Man lose life points? And he doesn't. Phoenix Wind Wind Phoenix Wing Wind Blast brings that target back up to the top of the deck. Hopefully, I as the man has a better plan to conceal his whirlwind. But he doesn't. Oxenet Dragon and Gale the Whirlwind are just gonna keep coming at it. So June is down to one thousand life points. The June draws. He draws his alien shock trooper. And at least what he can do is he can attack his Gale. That's the first time I as the Man has lost life points, 600 to be exact. And if I as the Man can put down another monster, it's game. Or maybe he's just going to prolong the suffering. And he's going to go into attack. 
This could this could give the June exactly what he needs. Two cards were drawn. The June draws four cards in his hand, two supply squads, and a third supply squad is thrown down along with Alien Shock Trooper and Solidarity. This duel just turned perhaps for Zijun's favor. Looking at Eyes of the Man's hand, the, this third match may go to Zijun. Let's see what we got. Zijun has 900 life points, so he has to be careful. And he's going to... He's going to bring out the chaos, that Chaos Sorcerer by banishing an Ambitious Golfer and Alex Indite Dragon. So June is going to summon a Lion Alligator to destroy that Chaos Sorcerer. Pod Duality. I saw a Spy Squad, a Twin Twisters, and a Monster. Will he pick the Monster? Nope, he'll choose the Twin Twisters. What to do, what to do. What can I do for you? And Eyes of Man's going to end his turn. He's not going to put anything down. Lion, Al Lion Alligator, direct attacks for 3600. Eyes of Man is at the point now. If he does not bring out a monster, it's game. It's over. Eyes of Man has three cards in his hand. Could he bluff with that new card he has face down? We can only wonder. Twin Twisters. Thunder King Ra'o is discarded. Solidarity and offering of the Snake Deity were destroyed. Oh! And we have Charging Guy of the Fierce Knight, and he's going to equal out Lion Alligator. The June draws. Though the duel is very much still in the June's favor now, anything can happen. Lies the Man draws the right card. It looks like they're going to cancel each other out, and Zijun's going to draw three cards. He has to have at least one. He sets two cards face down, and Gaga Gigo in attack mode, 1850, which means in two turns he can win this duel. If he summons no other monsters, of course. He's going to banish two more cards. He's going to bring out that Black Lesser Soldier. And he's going to banish Gagagigo. And he's going to just take out all his cards in his graveyard. He's going to summon Evil Dragon Anita. And he is. He's just waiting it out now. He just destroyed Black Luster Soldier. And he's going to set one more card face down. Will this be the end? He's going to direct attack. Defense draw will save him. But not from but the four mile snake. He'll have to destroy one of his own cards now. If he destroys his whip snake, he'll draw three cards. But nope, he's going to destroy one of his offerings to the snake deity. And the Seal of War Calcos is out now. And so is Guy of the Fierce Knight. Could this be the end? And looks like we have a ruling set up from Eyes the Man, saying that his Whip Snake is not actually on the list of allowed cards. This is very interesting and could result to disqualification. No, I have no clue. But Whip Snake does flip the attack and defense to possibly save the blow. Guy the Fierce Knight will attack Whip Snake. And Stormy Mirror Force will bring it back to the hand. He's going to end the turn. 
and the winner will go to Zajun with nine July points to spare. Thank you for thank you for watching, and we hope you're here for more.